there was a lot of bragging. I think there was just a lot of bragging of guys saying like, oh, I fucked the shit out of her last night. If you did anything less than fuck the shit out of her, then there was something to be ashamed about. The external male reproductive organs, as shown in this drawing, consist of the penis and the scrotum. The scrotum contains the testicles. I think I learned more in the Daily Mirror than I did about sex than I did at school. I had seen a video, I remember seeing that with a friend, we watched one of his brother's pornos um, with a guy with a very big tash. And my uncle was trying to teach me. Maybe this will help. The female reproductive system. And he was like, all right, go on the floor and start grinding on the floor. So I had to sex the floor in front of my uncle, in front of my mum, my auntie. The classic finding a porn mag in, in a bush somewhere. I think I dialed a number in the, one of the ads at the back for, for the phone sex line. I ran in the number and it was the best orgasm I ever had. I just remember feeling so excited that, yes, finally gonna have sex. And there was a guy there who kind of like flashed it a little bit and we went in the cubicle. And he had about three tugs and came and then that was it. I thought, woohoo, look at me, I can do sex. But that was with a girlfriend and that was... That was uh, short. You have kind of bragging amongst peers about what kind of things they've done. No, oh, I can last five hours. People call me Five Hour Freddy. What kind of things people they know have done. Yeah, I can go for hours. I can do backflips with a woman on me and stuff like that. You never hear of anybody who comes in and says, you know, oh, I had the best three minutes sex in my life. They always had like nine hours sex and it was always, you know, roses and woke up and made breakfast in the morning and stuff like that. And you know, really, it lasted for about 40 minutes and then they kicked them out and didn't give them the taxi money, so. When you watch porn again, these, these guys obviously, when you're watching it, they're lasting for ages and ridiculous times. And I was like, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you last longer? Oh, there's, uh... There's no real answer to that. At 18 years old, like when I'm starting to have sex, the only thing I care about is ejaculation almost. You know, I, I just wanted to go over as much as I possibly could. Like the first time I had sex, I barely lasted two minutes. It was a, it was a big, it was a big worry of mine that I didn't climax too quickly. It's, it's always a concern, isn't it? Mostly women they say, oh, you can't last long. You're, you're like, you're not a real man. What's she thinking? Like, she won't want to fuck me again, or she'll like, maybe she'll tell people. I had a girl that were like, oh my god, that was awful, or like, you just look at see the disappointment in their face or something. It's that pressure, isn't it? Of you, you should be. You need to be a, a, a good enough, a good enough, lover. Delay, it was always the point that you're going to, you're going to reach orgasm. It's a kind of a, a battle to try and make it last as long as possible. There's methods of like, you know, counting and all those mental things. There's creams, there's rings, there's thinking of your Auntie Joanne. Just don't look at them sometimes and you just look up, up while, you're, while you're humping. I try and take my mind off what I'm doing at that Pacific moment. Think of church because that's always a downer. Think of anything to do with the royal family, because that's a downer. I just start thinking it could be anything. It could be what I have to do that day, or, yeah, just start focusing on something else, looking at the wall. All right, let me put it like this. Like, a white sheet of paper with little balls of things that I'm doing that's written on it. That's kind of like what I, what I think at that time. So I forget what I'm doing. That's why I last for so long, because I forget. I, I got these DVDs once, and, and it was like, how to fuck a woman as a man, and how to do it powerfully, and all these little techniques and tricks. And one of them was like, let your rock star out when you're fucking her. The main thing is just to try not to think about it, um, or try to think thoughts which are completely off-putting to yourself, not, not so off-putting that you lose your erection. Which was the rock star. <laughs> I think um, it, was, it was more of an Aerosmith kind of character, you know. <laughs>
I'd imagine that I'm in a bright open room in the daytime. I vision every person I know who wouldn't want to see me having sex. I'm seeing like people pressed up against my windows like this, looking in. My grandparents, my uncle and aunt and everyone. So although they want to look away, which I can tell from just about from their facial expressions, uh, they can't escape and for some reason they can't turn around. Hi. Um, Margaret Thatcher always prom figured prominently at the point, kind of thinking they're kind of uttering her name over and over to try and think some old crone um, to try, <laughs> try and bring, the, uh, bring, bring myself back down to a level. Think about as many Pokemon characters as I possibly could do in my, in my head. Then there was kind of the little mansion in the back of the head. OK, Bulbasaur, Squirtle. Margaret Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher. Pikachu, Raichu, Snorlax. Margaret Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, which is exactly what I still do as well now on occasion. Uh, Electrode, Alakazam, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and there, I've come. <laughs>